Hey everyone, so a couple days ago Simply Sark posted a bug over on the Minecraft bug tracker which talked about how model predicates cause a lot of lag. Now we talked a bit about model predicates in episode 5 of Modeling Minecraft, um, how we could have different models depending on the damage of an item. So these diamond hose for example, they have 1561 uh, damage values so they can hold a possible 1561 models on them, one for each damage value. Technically double that if you use a special trick, but I'm going to talk about that in the next video. This video is just going to talk about the actual bug and why it's so important. Okay, so let's actually check out the effects of the bug. I am currently in a void world at the moment, so this is kind of a best case scenario situation to be in. Um, and if we press F3 to bring up the frames per second, you can see the frames per second is pretty high. It's around a thousand or so um, when I've got the F3 screen loaded. And I'm going to open inventory. And I'm just looking at a bunch of diamond hose right now. Just a bunch of diamond hose. And you can see that my frames per second dropped a little bit, but it's still pretty high, like 700, 800 frames per second. Um, no real issues there. I'd sort of expect that when you're loading the um, sort of interface. Now, in the bug report that Simply Sark posted, he mentioned to put the diamond hose on armor stands. And I'm not going to do that because there is also another bug where too many entities in the world causes lag. So I thought the best way to get a bunch of hose rendered is just to use the inventory screen. So that's our base mark, around 700, 800 frames per second, no resource pack loaded, nothing wrong whatsoever. So now we're going to load up the resource pack that Simply Sark included in his bug report, which is the predicate override bug. And I'm going to click done. And this only includes one file, one file. Already you can see that even just with a hot bar full of hose, my frames per second has dropped to 500. Now, if I open up the inventory, you can see that my frames per second drops to below 200, which might not seem that bad, but an FPS drop of that much is, is kind of a big issue, especially if you're on a slower computer. I can't really test it on a slower computer right now, but it is a substantial drop. And one thing that I did notice is that if we go ahead and look in the resource pack that Simply Sock did, if we go inside, there is only one file, which is the Diamond Ho model file. If we open that up, he has got the overrides list here, and you can see it's trying to load model item slash Diamond Ho zero. He's got a number on the end, all the way from zero to uh, 1560 odd. So you can see it's trying to load a bunch of models. Now in the resource pack itself there is no diamond hoe 0, diamond hoe 1. So it's trying to load a bunch of models which don't actually exist. And that is shown up in the Minecraft launcher. Um, it says missing model for diamond hoe 1223. So I thought that might be the issue, that it's just trying to load models that don't exist and so it's causing some sort of error and causing Minecraft to throw a fit. <laughs> so thinking that the issue was just missing Minecraft models, I thought that I'd try and create my own resource pack which included just the inbuilt models that already exist into Minecraft, so no errors will be thrown whatsoever. So I went ahead and made my own resource pack here called test pack and if we open up the diamond hoe.json we can see that it basically includes a list of all the item models that are in the sort of default Minecraft. So you can see all the way from Akaisha boat all the way down to yellow wool. And this list is substantially shorter than the resource pack that Simply Sark provided, um, just because these are, this is just all the items that exist in Minecraft. And I noticed that there was actually an FPS drop. So if we go ahead and take that resource pack off and load the test pack, then you can see that the frames per second is slightly better 
and if we open up the inventory screen, it is slightly better than the resource pack that Simply Sark provided. It is now 300 and 300 FPS. And if we open up the um, launcher, uh, that's from earlier, ignore that. If we scroll down, we can see that uh, where it's reloaded the resource packs, you can see here it says reloaded uh, the resource pack, test pack. There are no errors down here whatsoever. So there's no errors, but the frames per second has still dropped quite a bit. And I thought that one final test we could do is to make another resource pack and include just diamond hose. So that's what I've done here. I've just copied the resource pack and changed um, all the items that are loaded to diamond hose. So it's just diamond hose all over again. And that's just it. There's no new models loaded whatsoever. It's just diamond hose. And if we go ahead and actually load that down here, if we load that, you can actually see that the frames per second does actually just drop, despite there being no missing models, and despite there actually being only one actual model loaded in the file. It doesn't matter, as long as you have that many number of models loaded, there is going to be a drop in frame rate. So if I open my inventory, you can see it drops well below 200 frames per second. Um, and this is a big problem because this is a best case scenario. If you think about how maps such as We Are The Rangers, which used a bunch of really complicated models, um, animated models, all as predicates, it's essentially trying to load all of those models per item. And that is a big issue because it means that slow computers aren't going to be able to run these maps that take advantage of the predicates. And the predicates are a really good system because it means that we can have, we can sort of implement new items without having to use various items that we actually need. So rather than using these items over here as models, we can just use one item, which is the diamond toe or the, or any of the tools. We can use them as thousands of items instead. And it'd be a real shame if we had to sort of stop that because of how laggy it gets. And so obviously one workaround for this is to get rid of any unnecessary overrides that you have. There is a generator online, which is Accidental Games, is Sparks's damage value model generator, which I use a lot. And I'll link it in the description because you should use it too if you're gonna use overrides and stuff but it generates this whole list. And obviously that's gonna cause a lot of lag if you are only using a few of these. So delete anything that isn't actually used. So yeah, just delete stuff that isn't used and it should cut down on a lot of that lag. So while we're on the topic of bugs in 1.9, there is another bug that I quickly wanted to talk about to get your attention because it is quite important as well. Um, it's to do with passengers and we've got an, a bat entity over here and an armor stand running on top of it. And there's actually a bug where if you sort of unrender uh, these entities, they will actually desync despite them being ridden. So if I go over here um, for a bit and then go back, we should hopefully see that the armor stand is stationary and the bat is continually flying around. Now, if I exit world and rejoin, we will actually see that they are synced up again. But this still does cause quite a few problems. Even in survival, if you have a bunch of skeleton horse riders um, and you sort of go away from them and desync them, you get a bunch of invisible skeletons shooting at you, um, which is very annoying and obviously it causes a lot of issues in trying to do clever things with the new passenger system. Um, but anyway, I apologize that this video has been fairly lengthy. I just wanted to sort of explain why the predicates and this is so annoying because map makers rely on this sort of stuff a lot. Um, 
so please vote for the bugs down in the description there'll be a link to the minecraft bug tracker um, if you vote on them then there's a higher likelihood of mojang being able, being able to see them and hopefully fix them um, so i hope you enjoyed this video in the next video i'll hopefully be um, talking about a neat trick that you can do with the predicates um, so yeah i'll see you then bye for now